Gaia's Vault of Simiso, the modern recreation of one of the greatest Minecraft prisons ever created. It is 16 times more secure than the original. I got that number from random.org. But can I rescue a prisoner from this masterpiece without breaking a single block? The answer is yes, of course I can. And it's only gonna take me a month. So first we need to define what it means to break a block. Mining, that breaks a block. Water, can break a block. Explosions, they break blocks. And technically, if you think about it, when you place a block, you break a block of air. And that's why I'm not allowed to place blocks either. But to make this challenge fair, I'm going to say that the rule only applies to the bounds of the prison itself. But if blocks such as pistons and trapdoors move as part of guard operations, that's not going to count as block breaking because that's not me doing that. So with all these handicaps, how do I break into this heavily fortified and highly optimized compound? Well, I'm going to exploit something that's never been used in an escape before, and I'm surprised the builder of this prison didn't notice this flaw. The first step to my escape is to visit the prisoner. Now the way the visiting process works is that after you enter the portal you walk down this hallway and set your spawn on this bed so the guards can perform the kill check. But see, the moment I set my spawn point inside the prison it's now possible for me to do the end exploit, where you use an ender pearl stasis chamber to quickly teleport outside the prison, grab all the items you need to escape, and then jump through an end portal to go back to your spawn point, basically just bypassing the whole kill check. But of course, this fault has standard end exploit prevention. The only place I could possibly respawn is obstructed by this netherite block, and the guards aren't going to remove that netherite block until after I die. And even then, the moment I respawn, they immediately re-extend the netherite block and obstruct it again for the rest of the visit. Now, I still have my spawn point set at that bed for now, but if I die while the bed is obstructed, I lose that spawn point permanently. And now this is where the flaw comes into play. The kill check is the only place in the entire visiting process where I have to die. I enter the cell by just dropping down a chute and then I exit the cell using a stasis chamber. After that the guards literally just set me free. Now of course the guards here aren't idiots. They know my spawn point is still inside the prison. They're not going to retract this netherite block because the moment they do, I can do the end exploit. So they will never let another person visit this prison until I die at least once. That's the only way they can make sure it's safe to let another person visit. And here's the funny part, the only way that they can tell if I die is if they see Canadian died in chat. Now you might be starting to see where the one month part comes in. Now the next step to my escape is to change the name of my account. Now after you change your Minecraft account name, your old username will be unavailable for anyone to use for the next month. After a whole month has passed, I can buy a brand new account with the same name as my old account, and all I have to do is log onto the server while the guards are watching chat and burn in lava. This is the stupidest escape plan ever, but it technically works. Now the guards are once again accepting visitors, and I have a friend who's in on the escape who's gonna visit guys vault for me. They'll set their spawn on the bed and die, just like I did before. Now of course, I still haven't died on my main account yet, so as soon as the spawn point is unobstructed, I'm one step away from breaking back into the vault. But if I were to end exploit into the prison, I would have to be invisible. And if the guards saw an invisible entity standing on the pressure plate, they'd know something was up. So that means my friend has to click respawn at the exact same time that I jump through the end portal. And that's really hard to time if you're, say, on call because of call delay. So we'd either have to be in the same room when we count down or use this method, the advanced cat bonker. This cat bonker bonks cats so hard it kills them. But the trick is that it kills two cats at the same time once every second. One is tamed by me and one is tamed by my friend. So both of us can see the cat's death messages at the exact same time, but we're the only two people on the server who can see this. And just as we've rehearsed, as soon as the timer hits five, I jump through the portal and we both made it in at the same time. Now I have to stay close to my friend just in case the guards have particles enabled because if they do, they'll barely be able to see my invis particles, but they'll have to assume it's just mining fatigue particles coming off of my friend. So as my invisibility slowly counts down, I'm following my friend through every step of the visiting process all the way up until we get to the cell. Then I drop down the cell and I just have to wait. Eventually they finally activate my friend's stasis chamber and start paying attention to them. All I have to do now is wait for the guards to log off because if they hear my escape they'll catch me. And this was getting terrifying. The guard was just not logging off for some reason. I couldn't tell if he knew I was here or if he was AFK and I only had one minute of invisibility left. 5, 4, 3, 2, and just as my invisibility ran out, he logged out. That was so intense and definitely not staged. And from the prisoner's point of view, they just saw someone pop into the cell and hand them a bunch of ender pearls, golden apples, elytra, and fireworks. I told them which wall to pearl glitch from so we could both avoid the redstone lines, and we did. After a few minutes, we were both on the roof and we used our elytras to fly high enough so that we could throw an ender pearl and just barely make it over the area bands. And just like that, we both made it out of the most advanced version of Guy's Vault seamlessly. And the guards don't even know we've escaped yet. Thank you for watching.
and goodbye. <laughs>